Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go a little bit in detail about what makes a guitar special or what makes a guitar good for the player. Now, there's been a lot of talk, I mean, I'm a guitar player, I've heard everybody talk about how, yeah, you gotta get a Gibson Les Paul if you want to really play those tones. Okay. Okay. Or, you want a Stratocaster if you really want to play the blues. But I want to go a little bit further in depth into the whole, you gotta spend money to get a good guitar. So, there's many different price ranges in guitar playing. My choice of guitar is Renee, my Squire Affinity Series Stratocaster that I've had for 14 years and started upgrading. Now, one of the biggest things that I've always told people who have asked me about what makes a guitar special and what makes it good. Now, this is purely in the eye of the beholder kind of thing. It, it depends on the guitar player, and it depends on the guitar, whether it be a cheap one, a mid-grade quality, or a high-grade quality, like an American Fender Strat that costs one to $2,000. It's all in the preference of the player. And my biggest point... Okay, for starters, I'm going to talk about quality first. Yes, it is true that... The more money you spend on a guitar, the better quality control you're going to end up with. Now, what I mean by that is, take this Squire, Fen or this Squire Stratocaster, for example. They've got good bones. Okay, by bones, I mean good body, good necks, and fairly okay tuning machines. But one of the things that they miss on a bit, a, quite a bit is the, the quality of the neck. The, the fret bars. For starters, a lot of times when you buy a Squire guitar, like this one, brand new, they have fret ends that poke out and can kind of scratch your skin a bit. And the fret bars themselves, when you bend the string against that fret bar, you can kind of feel a little bit of a gritty sound. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this neck. There you go, you can kind of see some of the rough edges on the frets along the, the top of the fret bars. These are rough frets, okay? Now, quality, yes, it does play a part in it. But, if you take the time and you polish the frets and you sand the sides of it down and you do it right and you buff out all the micro scratches in the wood, you can end up with a really nice guitar and then you polish the fret bars themselves. So, quality is subjective. It's, actually, it's relative. Um, the next thing would be the style of the guitar. If you like a Stratocaster, great. They are comfortable to play. It's got a good resting spot for your arm. It's got that curve right there. And then it's got a belly, a belly curve right here. Which, it's a really comfortable guitar to play. I like the Strat. I've always gravitated towards the Stratocaster. And then there is the sound of the guitar. Do you like a really fat, warm sound with a punch? You'll probably be a humbucker lover. Or if you like that John Mayer smooth, crisp, and bluesy tone, but with not a whole lot of bass in it, then you'd probably like single coil pickups. Like this one right here in the middle. Humbucker, single coil. And then what it boils down to when you choose a guitar, whether it be expensive, cheap, or medium is that special something now this is unique to each player okay you go into a guitar store you don't know what you're looking for specifically but you've got some cash in your pocket okay you look at many guitars you play Les Pauls you play Paul Reed Smith's and you play Fenders and then you play a couple Squires if it's the Squire guitar that brings out inspiration in you and brings out a unique part of your music that makes you just want to keep playing and playing, that is that special something. It's almost like when you find a good woman, you just know. Guitars are the same way. When you find the right guitar, you'll know. And it, it's kind of hard to explain, but for me, that is my Strat Renee. So, the quality, yes, it does play a part in all that. I mean, 
if you buy a Squire Strat, be ready to have rough fret ends and in slightly gritty frets when you bend the strings. There are two ways around that. Play it till they wear in and break in, which takes a long time, actually. That's partly how I did this. Or you can take and polish the frets and do the finishing touches on the neck, which is polishing the fret bars, sanding the fret ends down with increasingly finer grit sandpaper until you get to a polishing type and you can actually get a fender strat quality neck like an american quality neck if you just take a little bit of time to do it now not a lot of people want to do that but like i said it depends on the guitar player it depends on what you want it depends on what calls to you okay this is something that I wish I had known a long time ago when I was a lot younger. For example, I had a Jackson KE3 Professional made before Jackson went cheap. And it, it had the dual-way floating tremolo with the Floyd Rose lockouts. It had the um, Seymour Duncan high-quality pickups. It was just an all-around great guitar. Impeccable quality. And I stupidly traded it for a Univox High Flyer from 1977-ish. It wasn't even a real one. It was The real one is a Mosrite High Flyer. And yeah, sure, the neck was done okay, but the guitar just had so many problems. The intonation was shit. If I had just known, you know, if you know what you're looking for, that's great. But if you don't know what you're looking for and you see something that calls to you, it's almost like you're drawn to it. I don't know how to describe it. Those musicians out there who see this video, you'll get what I mean. When you find the right guitar for you, you'll know. So, as far as quality goes, my very first guitar, I uh, could have had a Gibson SG. A true Gibson USA SG that had, unfortunately, some idiot put a bunch of WWF, WWE stickers all over it. 100 bucks at a pawn shop. And I passed it up for a stupid first act strat copy. $50, $60 at, at Walmart. If I had known then what I know now, I would have that SG currently. But I don't. I was young and stupid and I didn't know. So when you go in to buy a guitar, don't have such high expectations that you walk in and you get confused and lost in a guitar store and you just don't know what to do with yourself. Because it happens all too often. It happens to me every time I go into a guitar store and then I have to stop myself and think, okay, I've got such and such amount of money. Let's see if I can find something in my price range. And I play every guitar I can in my price range. And whichever one I keep coming back to, the one that I get the, the most creative on and that's the easiest for me to play, that is the one I choose. <clears throat> I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> um, that special something. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, that special something is something that every musician who knows guitars inside and out will understand. And it's really not rocket science, but it's something that you learn with time. And you'll make quite a few mistakes in the very beginning of your guitar playing. So don't be don't be so hard on yourself that you gotta get a Fender American Strat to sound good, or gotta get a Gibson Les Paul to sound good, or an SG, whatever. It's not about the money spent on a guitar. It's not about the name. I always wanted a Fender Strat, and you know what? I have a Squire, and I took the time to do a little bit of extra work on it, and I ended up with an amazing guitar. I never get tired of playing this guitar. It's not about the name brand, okay? I mean, sure, if you're one of these stuck-up snobs who have to have the name brand, Gibson, for status sake, then sure, go ahead if you have that kind of money. By all means, do it. They're great guitars. I'm not trash-talking high-grade guitars, okay? I am not. I'm simply saying a good guitar, well, it's relative to the player. And it depends on what they like. The quality is okay-ish. 
as far as its involvement in what makes a good guitar, because you can make any cheap guitar play good if you know what you're doing. So, if you have any questions on this topic, if anybody sees this video who's interested in this kind of thing, please comment and ask me some questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. So, until next time, guys, have a good night. God bless you. You're important in this world, and you are loved. Don't ever forget that. See ya.